Hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this time it is on the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. So on the front of the large box here, the LEGO logo, Harry Potter logo, and the border that we've seen since 2018, and Wizarding World logo, and picture of the set there with the with both the clock tower and uh, Great Hall in the background, of course, and a little bit of a sneak peek of the interior part of it, and all the main things included, and and then age recommendation nine and up, and set number seven five nine six nine has nine hundred seventy one pieces. And look to the back, see the interior back side of it, of course, and a few shot screenshots of it in there. Down to the manual, so it's same pictures on from the box and same thickness as the clock tower last year, of course. And on the back, how we on the online survey, all the pieces that come with the set, and again, after some after the other sets minus the retail exclusives, and then add for or how it connects with the last few Hogwarts corridor sets, which. I'll do a separate video on of connecting, but leaving out room requirement, of course, and the final steps. And uh, hang on a sec. So first of all is Harry Potter himself. Well, torso print of which quite good and well captures his appearance in uh, either Half Blood Prince or or the Phoenix, uh, one of the two. But hair piece also kind of common on some other versions, and of course the newer wand, of course, and some slight back torso print and full these face prints common since 2018. And next to which is Ron Weasley. Oh, which new exclusive torso print. Though it's in that odd uh, aquamarine or a tealish kind of color. Very nice, but not in only uh, leg prints. Of which, so it's kind of 50 50 of leg prints on the rest of the selection. And the back torso print, also done quite good. And there's his. Kind of anger to double sided face, which I think is exclusive to this, but I'm not sure. But yeah, and next to it is Hermione Granger, the reuse of that uh, princess hair piece, just like in the room requirement, and also good torso print and leg prints, and even footprints in silver, which very interesting and quite nice. And I see legs of which dual molded, which kind of common, which nice to see. And let's look on the back of her back torso print and double side face. At least kind of different than that in the clock tower set. And of course that was for Goblet Fire. This is for one of the later ones. Next to which is Lavender Brown, who I think this might be the first or second in appearance of, of her in a set, but I'm not sure though, but whatever. But besides that, it was a really good figure. So it's good front torso print, but not at all any leg prints, but I can forgive that. And you get the like, little book of spells and with a sticker tile piece to it. Same with the cover, stickered. A lot of stickers in this set. So, so face print also done quite good, and also good use of the friend's uh, hair piece with the bow that you can stick on to a course. A little rubbery like all other ones. And also kind of ticked off double side face and uh, back torso print also done good.
next to which is Drago Malfoy. Well, older version Drago Malfoy. Which torso print, leg print also done quite good. And although I do think the leg print is just the same as Harry's, of course. But of course, he has a different uh, clothing. But he which has his regular student outfit and, of course, Slytherin attire. I mean, although face print kind of common on some of the other recent versions. There's his uh, back torso print with the hood and is more ticked off double side face, of course. The next image is Luna Lovegood, which exclusive version to this set would be you know, um, some of my lavender uh, dress prints, but also dual mullet legs again, of which great to that. But besides that, although the uh, face prints, both face prints, and the hair piece of which, same as from the Room of Requirement in this current wave. But the rest of which, exclusive, and looks good. And next to which is Neville Longbottom. Well, later version of him. As the, with the tray with the goblet on it, of course. And well, this front torso print, which looks good, and the face print kind of suiting to most of his appearances, and although good use of this hair piece, of course. And look from the back torso print. And also good, and also interesting double side face, of course. And last but not least, is Horace Slughorn. Which is kind of similar to the one that was used in the 2018 Bricktober pack. Yeah, Bricktober pack. But at least good to have him in an actual set finally. And his front torso print, great. And face and print of which, uh, done quite good. And hair piece, just the same as Draco's, but in dark gray, kind of suiting to him. And also his back torso print, also good. And. Also kind of worried double side of face, of course. And last but not least, is the new update version of Hedwig with the open wings, of course. And this version also used in the Billable Hedwig set and the uh, uh, Privet Drive in its current wave. And also a poly bag, of course. And was that stuff? Also done really good. Port tor Prince of Witch, also great. Perfection. First of all, for the builds, is this little uh, uh, table for it. Which is kind of similar to the two in the Clock Tower set. But of course, it's done with red pieces in red and dark brown for the legs, and of course. It also has some printed uh, the, the flat stud pieces for both the uh, uh, creme brulees and mini waffles, and of course the friends cupcakes, so, and also plenty of sm of uh, wine glasses, and also brown dish pieces used for the chocolate fountain, of course. So which good use of pieces, so at least. I think this might be one of the only times of us getting chocolate fountains in Lego, of course. It's probably outside of friends or whatever. But besides that, good bills for it. And next to which, so on to the Astronomy Tower itself. So it's pretty good bill. Really cool bill. And for it. But also, like last year's clock tower set, it's somewhat modular. Oops. And also, unlike the other ones, its top part also kind of modular. So you can separate it out in sections, which is what I'll do for this review. So, starting out with the greenhouse. So, like the top part of it, which is Mostly kind of made with those 
corner pieces and what is probably the Jago hilt pieces, but used as statuettes and of which good use of pieces. And the rest of which I've done quite good with this bush piece. And what you see kind of common in this, and just like in the Privet Drive set, is the like little flower piece in the mint bluish green color. And open the door and go right in. And look on one side and see how the scissors piece. And also do get a few pots and just like in the recent one CMF series is can pull out the mandrakes. But of course they're on made with actual cylinder pieces rather than a different unique kind of piece kind of interesting but although i do think the two piece does work a little better for it Okay, of course, with its open mouth and all, kind of suiting to its appearance. Well, most of its appearance is well in Chamber of Secrets, that is. Same within uh, one of the later ones, of course. And you have a couple of open uh, Technic pinholes there to fit the room requirement or any other expansion set. And really, in this greenhouse, which Kind of a bit better than the one in the 2007 uh, Hogwarts set. But, although it can work with any of the films, of course. And that's about it with that. And on to the opening gates section. That, as you'll see on most of this, has some mint sand green color. Like the 2001 and 2 sets had which I'm not sure why that is, but maybe it gives a little hint for the next expansion set. I'm not sure, but whatever. It has the columns of which done quite goodly, despite being all stickers. Also good use of, some good use of snot and the jagged slopes, giving it the pointed up kind of effect. And also do have those same exact uh, barb pieces like we have with the last couple ones and also so those new stem pieces like in privet drive set and if you look to the back and he has a few technic pinholes there for other parts of the set and a couple of desks that hold different potions and things and, and right above it is a little candle holder with a few candles in different sizes one being the actual candle piece of course And of course, can attach the oil instructions say attach the greenhouse to that, of course. And onto the other entrance part of it, which same kind of thing with the jagged slopes and also the same window pieces there, and also the other kind of rounded window piece. So, and of course you connect it from the sides of which but look on the interior and have a couple of uh, Japanese lanterns made of the red pumpkin pieces like we've seen in some of the uh, Chinese New Year sets and also another end with black room and uh, what's kind of unique from the other corridor sets is has those small technic bricks with two open pinholes, but in two different directions. It's allowing for some other connections with the others, which is quite interesting and quite different from the others, of course. You get a whole ton of empty doorways for that. Although I think they could have made it covered up and more hidden from the other ones, but probably get just more accessibility to it. Of course, you get uh, it's Slughorn's office right here. 
like a letter piece and a couple of stickered uh, bookshelves there. And also an hourglass that is also a sticker. That's a good separate little mini building with one of those uh, brick bricks, of course. It just hangs to the side. Just giving it some extra feel to the rest of the build, of course. Oops. And how you connect it to the other one is like other pins on there, like so. And now on to the last part of it, which is the upper tower. Which, same window pieces, and of course, one of the long bricks with a, with a sticker on it, and also those like rounded kind of brick pieces, which we don't see very often, but unfortunately also stickered. A good use of snot there, and also get a ton more of those jagged slopes giving the upper part of it, and also rounded window with that. And also, good use of these pieces as, as extra greebling and all. And also, more of that, and another sticker, and also kind of a smallish tower or with a dome piece hanging underneath it. Another one of these kind of things, like in the Great Hall set. And of course, also with this set, you get a ton of the ski pole pieces in myth Sam Green. And if you look to the back, you can get of uh, which the uh, Ravenclaw uh, uh, bed area, a couple of beds with the colors scheme of that, of course, and also this little book game that holds this little uh, spell book that same deal as that other one did. You can stick right onto it like so. And the upper part, which is of course the astronomy area, which has this little globe-like thing with those, one of those newer ring pieces and the larger golden ring pieces like we've seen in the Quidditch match set two years ago, and also Technic uh, Sphere, but or Ball Joint Sphere, or Sphere, but in silver, chrome silver, which we don't think we've seen in a long time, but great to have here, great for mocking. And also you get, oh, it's probably the little telescope there with one pink and one bright blue gem piece. That's good use there. And also a little scroll that shows a couple of constellations that are trying to mark out. And also the same roof kind of effect as the clock tower set, but with the jagged, but with the cheese slopes on it, of course. Also roof effect, also like the Great Hall, but with a 1x2 brick on it. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And how you connect it to it is very few studs on top of that and connected above, like so. Also, it can make as a good place to put your headwig figure on. Kind of, kind of nice, like he's flying right upward and all. So now, let me get these all on. Oh, whoops. So for my overall verdict on this set, this I think a quite cool uh, set of the uh, Hogwarts expansions will at least get the, uh, get the greenhouse and also get a good selection of ex few exclusive figs and and also getting uh, Horace Luckhorn rather than the Bricktober pack, which is cool. 
but also it's an astronomy station, which I don't think we see very much in LEGO, of course. But, and of course, this is a little bit different than the other Hogwarts expansion sets with some sand green color, which, which if you're OCD, it might kind of bug you a little, but I'm sure you can live with it, unless it's a, that gets added to the next Hogwarts expansion set or, or whatever. And well, if you're looking to get this set to add to your Hogwarts setup, then definitely go ahead and pick this up. And if you're looking to get it for your Harry Potter collection, also go ahead and pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.